Oh, that's hot. Have you ever noticed outlets or switches hot to the touch? That's a big problem and you want to know about it as soon as possible. You need something like this in your toolkit. The ideal laser infrared thermometer. Check the video description down below. I've now seen these below $40. When these first came out, they were well over $100. They've come way down in price. They even come with the battery. Everything you need is in the kit. So what you're looking at here is a laser infrared thermometer. With a simple pull of the switch, it's going to tell you the temperature that you're looking at. The reason you want to know this is because if electrical problems are occurring, it's going to start overheating. Once it starts overheating, that probably is an indication to you that there may be some kind of short circuiting going on. You want to either fix it yourself, turn off the power for sure, possibly call an electrician. So I want you to go around your house and start checking light fixtures, outlets, switches. If a light fixture is off and the bulb is cool, it should read the same temperature as the area around it. So we have about 89 degrees there and about 89 degrees there with the cool bulb and the fixture off. There's no short circuiting, nothing's happening. Let's keep checking. Now, one way to test to make sure it's working properly for you is you can go to a known area, say uh, the general ceiling area is 80 degrees in here, it's summertime, but then we check a hot light fixture and it instantly bumps up to near 100, 98 degrees. So that's how you know your laser thermometer is working. Okay, so the wall is 80 degrees. The switch is 81 degrees. Not a big difference there. If you have switches that are perpetually getting hot, something is wrong. They could be too low of a wattage rating for the load for the lights up above. You want to check that. But switches do go bad and sometimes you need to replace them. Or there could be a loose connection. That's a very common problem, a loose wiring connection. So go ahead and test and check all of your switches in the house. You can also test the outlets. Now, if nothing's plugged into it, an outlet temperature should be identical to the wall temperature. Can you see that here? Our wall temperature is roughly 75 degrees and then pop it over to a dead outlet and it's roughly 75. It did pop up to 77 a little bit, but go ahead and check all the outlets in the house and see what's normal for you. This is definitely a safety device that you can use often. It also works for much more than electricity. You can start to check light bulbs. Say you have old inefficient light bulbs and then you upgrade to LED. Maybe see how much money you're saving by using cooler, more efficient light bulbs. You could also check the temperature of your HVAC. How much cold air versus warm air is coming in. You can find warm and hot spots on your exterior walls. Do you have any leaks or drafty areas? This kind of thermometer will tell you a lot about the house and you'll learn to know what areas to improve on. Now circuit breakers, in another video I told you if you're starting to hear a humming sound at all, that's an indication that your circuit breakers are starting to go bad, but you can also check temperature. Okay, so you wanna see what an average is for your panel. So my panel right now, if you can see, seems to be averaging about 72 degrees. And you can systematically go through and start checking all your circuit breakers in your house. Isn't that cool? This technology used to cost a lot more money, and now this is a simple laser thermometer you can just keep in your toolbox. Some are used more than others, and that just means that load, that circuit breaker has more electricity pulling through it right now. But if you found one that was abnormally high, then you definitely have a problem. So go through and check all the circuit breakers in your house. This house also has a sub panel. Then you can continue to individually check every single one there, make sure nothing's overheating. Have you ever thought about this? water detection so we're in a basement here and you're going to have an average wall temperature there's a foundation back here if it's cooler down below you could have water leaks which could eventually turn into mold so yes you can even use it for water detection so here in a basement we have an average wall temperature as we keep coming down it's staying very constant if we were to have a very cooler temperature down low it's probably an indication that there's a water problem behind the wall speaking of water have you ever wondered what the temperature of your water is now with your water heater you typically don't want it above about 120 degrees fahrenheit otherwise it could be a safety or scalding problem so run the hot water and use your new thermometer to check the temperature so this water is about 120 right now it's bouncing around a little bit. There we go, 120. And then let me show you on the cold side. It's going to start to drop almost immediately. Now we're into the 60s. 
So that's okay. If your water was set too high, it can be wasteful on utilities. It can be a safety hazard, so turn your water heater down. With this pinpoint laser accuracy, you could start to check for drafts and leaks. You could see the average temperature of your wall versus sliding glass doors and windows through the glass will tell you the outdoor temperature likely, depending if it's reflecting or not. There are so many uses with this ideal infrared thermometer. You should buy one. It should be in your toolkit today. You will discover new uses for it day in and day out. Hey, let me know if you have any questions at all. I know you can do it yourself.